Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to customize the sport trading cards. They are at easydigitals.com. You click on sports, and then you can arrow down. You can buy them with our sports volume 2 set, or you can buy them separately just as sports trading cards volume 2. All right, let's get started. Now, when you first pull up the sports trading cards, this is going to be what you'll see when you open it up. This is the back of the trading card. What we're going to do today is we're going to make it look like this. So we're going to add a logo instead of a picture, but I'm also going to show you how to add a picture. I have my history up and my layers up. As always, I select my move tool and I make sure auto select layer is highlighted and show transform controls. Okay, first let's change the color. Right now it's red and we want to change it to blue. So we have all these layers. If you, if you have the elements version, you won't have folders with your colors in them, but on the Photoshop version, you will have a folder and it will have your colors in it. What we're going to do is arrow down and we're gonna turn off red and we're gonna turn on the blue that we want. Okay, you wanna make sure you have your move tool selected and you're going to go File, Open, and you're going to browse to your photo that you want to use. And I want to use this photo, so I'm going to click Open. Now this photo is probably going to be way too big for my card, but I'm going to go ahead and come over to my card. I'm going to arrow down here to the bottom where it says Your Photo here, and I'm going to highlight this so that the photo goes in right above it. And coming back to my photo, just going to drag it in here. And as you can see, it's way too big. Now if you have a problem with this little square turning on, which is actually just the frame, what you want to do is lock it so that it so that you can highlight the picture. You'll just have to remember to unlock it if you want to do anything with it. Okay, so we're going to come over to our magnifying glass and I'm going to press Alt so that it changes to a minus. And I can then I can see my little corners that I can grab a hold to. I'm pressing shift and I'm making this smaller and then I'm going to drag it up here until I get it the way I want it. Press enter and I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I have my picture added. If I wanted to customize the rest of that, we're going to do that in a little bit. I want to show you the main features before I get into the customization. But I want to show you how you can add a logo instead of a picture. So if you have a logo that you want to put on the back of your card instead of a picture, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my player. What you do is you come up to the layer, which is this blue one, and you click on this mask. And you're going to right click it and click disable mask. And then you're going to go back to that frame that we locked earlier we're going to unlock it and we're going to turn it off. So now we have an area for our logo. So I'm going to choose File and Open, grab my logo, and I'm just going to drag it in. Select my Move tool and drag it over. It's obviously too big. Now this would be kind of cool if it was um, maybe a lower opacity but you don't want it to be too bright if it's going to be in the background. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because this isn't what we're doing. We're just going to grab this corner and press shift again and make it smaller until we're happy with it. Press enter and just arrow it to the position that we want. And now we have a logo. Okay, so now let's go ahead and customize the back of this card. Basically you just want to grab your type tool and we're going to change the name. And as you can see, it's too big, so I'm going to go double click. And I'm going to come up here. This is for CS3. It, you get this little 
arrows to the right and left and you can just drag it to the left and it makes it smaller. Now if you have an older version of Photoshop you'll actually have to change the numbers in here and you can type in a number until you get it just right. And we're going to change the number here. Type tool. Selecting my move tool. Change this to Cubs. And since I have the team up here, let's say um, I want to change this team information to say nickname, or you could say highlight, and then you could put maybe, you know, first home run or something. But I'm going to just change this to nickname. And then you just, you know, change all this information to um, whatever's appropriate. And you can even change the year if for, you want to put it for 2009. So you can use this for many years. So the back is completely customized now with a logo. Now we're going to move to the front. So I'm going to open my front. This is how it would look when I first opened it. And I'm going to open my photo that I want to add. And again, I'm just going to select my move tool. Oh, I have to make sure I have I have to make sure I have the right um, area highlighted. Your photo here. And I'm just going to drag it in. Again, it's too big, so I'm going to press my magnifying glass, Alt, and my minus. And I can see my controls here. And I'm just going to fit this picture in. I can adjust it when I can see it a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom in. And now, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to change the color. Turn my blue on, turn my red off. And just customize the rest here. can do all caps or capital and lower. Again, it's too big. Double click. Reduce. And I'm going to change his number. I'm going to change this little clip art, turn it to a star. And I'm going to turn off the one that's currently on. And there you go, it's all customized. I hope you enjoy the template. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have yourself a creative day.